Ed Burke's corruption trial continues today with the focus on the Chicago Field Museum. The prosecution is expected to call witnesses to show that the former alderman tried to shake down the museum for a personal favor. Mike Lowe is live at the Dirksen Federal Building with the latest on this. Mike. Patrick and Lourdes, good morning to both of you. Former Alderman Ed Burke is charged with 14 counts of racketeering, bribery and extortion. One of those alleged schemes involves the Field Museum. Ed Burke allegedly wanted his goddaughter to be considered for an internship at the museum. She did not get the position. Prosecutors say an irate Burke threatened to use his influence to block the museum's plan for a needed ticket fee increase because he was so upset. Even though that increase would not have gone through, would have gone through the park district, not the city council, prosecutors say Burke's clout essentially gave him unofficial but broad veto power over financial issues like fee increases. Burke's defense attorneys have argued that, quote, it's not a crime to be angry, preparing the jury to hear Burke on tape, quote, read the riot act to that Field Museum employee. Defense attorneys have also said that Burke never proposed any sort of quid pro quo deal that would have tied the fee increase to his goddaughter's internship. Audio recordings will be a big factor in today's testimony. After the lunch break, prosecutors say they plan to move to the next so-called scheme, the Burger King episode, in which Burke is alleged to have extorted the owners of a Burger King in his ward, allegedly twisting their arms to use his private tax appeal firm in order to get city construction permits. Burke and his two co-defendants have pleaded not guilty. Reporting live at the Dirksen Federal Building, Mike Lowe, WGN News. A federal appeals court 